Uh, hope I can get it back together. <laughs> you big dummy! My name is Derek and I normally test amplifiers or subwoofers, but today I'm going to test a real cheap head unit. Let's see what it's all about. Alright guys, the German name for Blue Point Blaupunk are back again. That's right, this company has been around forever, since 1932. This is 2019. You guys have seen some recent videos I've done. If you haven't, check them out. Tested a 1500 watt amp for $63. Yeah, right. We also tested a cheap 12 inch subwoofer, which has recently gone up in price. But today we're going to get something a little different. What do we have here? So while I was browsing Walmart looking for the cheap subwoofer, I came across this $10 head unit. That's right, $10. And I had to do a double take. Yes, a $10 car stereo. So then I did a little bit more research and found out they even have it on Amazon for $10 with prime shipping. Okay, what's going on with this? Let's take a closer look at it here. First thing you'll notice when you take it out of the box, there's not much here. This thing is tiny. It comes with a free car charger and USB cable. All you gotta do is leave a review. You bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna do that. Comes with the harness here for the power and for the speaker. And here's the unit. It's not much bigger than a faceplate with most car stereos, just a little bit thicker. Here is the thickness you can see compared to my finger there, but it's not a very good shot. So let me show you compared to a full size DIN head unit. Check this out. Is that crazy or what? No, not me, the head unit. Check out all the features on the front here. You have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, micro SD, USB, Bluetooth, AM FM tuner. This is just insane. You flip it over to the back, got your antenna connection, your power speaker plug, RCA outputs. We have no idea what this 3.5 millimeter jack is because it did not work as an input or an output. So I'm not sure what's up with that. And the USB port on the back is for charging. So in addition to all the features I've shown you, it also comes with this credit card size remote control. Works via infrared. Yes, that's right. This is a $10 car stereo and it even comes with a remote control. Say it ain't so. But in addition, the amplifier has a built-in amp of 4 times 20 watts max. Yeah, this is just getting nuts here. So you can see I've got it all wired up here. If you want one of these terminal strips, check out the video description and I'll leave a link. First off, we're going to test USB and see how it works. The thing to notice here when I plug in the USB thumb drive, notice how quickly the MP3 is starting to play. It's amazing. As I mentioned before, this does come with a remote control which has several features including the adjustments of the EQ which I'll show here. The USB port on the back is just for charging. I thought it may work with thumb drives but I tried a thumb drive and it did not. However, it did provide a charge for my iPhone 6S Plus here. So there you go, just use the back one for charging your phone. Now, let's check out Bluetooth audio. This is in real time. I want you to see how quickly this connects up to my phone. I'd never connected it to my phone before. Just watch this, if my fat finger could hit the button in the right place, it would be even faster. Smoking. All right, next I wanted to test a Bluetooth call. Let's see how that works. All right, so we're connected through the Bluetooth here. How does it sound on your side? Sounds okay. Okay, it's not great. I mean, can you hear me? I'm, 
If I was sitting in the car, this is about how far away I'd be from the microphone. Does it sound okay? Yeah, I can hear what you're saying, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we're not going down the road, so it's not a perfect test, but I just want to see if it worked. Okay, thank you. Right, bye. Bye. All right, I've got the Bluetooth connected as well as the USB. I'm going to see how it is to switch between the two. Let me unmute it. Switch to Bluetooth. Still playing, still connected. Let's see if it, it does pause. That's how it pauses the Bluetooth for me. I'm sure people still listen to the radio on occasion, so let's see how the FM tuner works. Um, no, Durham has. All right, here we have the blow pump hooked up. We've got the front channels, power channels going into the dyno, and we have the rear channels going into the big dummy loads. These are four ohm resistive loads here. So this way we have all four channels loaded. So let's see what kind of power we get at four ohms on the dyno. All right, so the owner's manual says four times 20 watts max. We're gonna use the amplifier dyno, which tests RMS power output. See what we get here. You can see we got 10 watts per channel with all channels loaded. So it's not too bad. Next up, we're gonna try the RCA output test, voltage and distortion at one kilohertz. What you'll notice here is we're using a Panasonic VP7704P. So let's power it up. And here I'm gonna show you, got the RCA coming out of the head unit, going into the input here of the distortion analyzer. Just so you understand the range here, we're using three volt as the voltage range and we're using 1% THD. And I'll show you here, three volt is the second line there, the black line, which is underneath the top. And the 1% THD is the very top. So it starts at 0.1 and goes all the way up to one. So we'll keep an eye on that. Now most of the real inexpensive head units will have about a two volt RCA output. So that's what we're expecting to see here. And that's about what we get. So right at two volts. On the head unit, it's number 59, because when we go to 60, I'm gonna show you real quick. We flip it to 60, see it pegs the distortion meter way over to the right. So if we keep it at 59, we get right at two volts RMS and about 0.25% THD. That's really good for a $10 head unit. Now I'm sure there's some electronic geeks outside that wanna know what's inside this bad boy. Well, decided why not? It looks like it's pretty simple to open up. There's just tabs. There's two tabs on either side, four total. The faceplate part pulls off and then the circuit board portion pulls off as well. Here you can see the three different parts. We have the plastic faceplate, we have the circuit board, and then we also have the back plate, which is aluminum. Here's a better picture of the circuit board and here's the back. You can see the chips on there, the Bluetooth chip, some of the other controllers. The audio chip is a 7389A, which it doesn't say TDA, it just says YD. I think it's a copy of the TDA, which says four times 28 watts, and we didn't quite get there. So what do I think overall? All right, guys, there you have the amazing $10 car stereo from Blaupunk. The best thing about this is it can be used in a portable Bluetooth speaker system that you make at home, a DIY one. It's cheaper than buying the Bluetooth adapter by itself. It is crazy. This thing has Bluetooth, USB, micro SD, RCA outputs. You can hook up a second amplifier if you'd like to. Comes with a remote control, has clean output, sounds good. I'm just absolutely blown away. I would make sure that you go ahead and pick up one now while they're $10, because there's no telling what they're gonna be in the future. Make sure you check out 12 Volt Talk. It's a podcast me and Hi5 Vega do every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. We have guests on all the time. We talk about car audio. We have a good time. Make sure you check us out. All right, there you have my video on the incredible $10 Blau Punk car stereo. Thanks as always for watching, commenting, liking. Special thanks goes to Matt, Dustin, Chris, Jay, Matthew, Marcus, Jesus Tires, Soundstream Registry. Yeah, boy. We just hit 100K subscribers on YouTube. I'm out of here.
All right, I'm at the top of the slide. Are we ready? I'm birthday girl today. Hello, birthday girl. We're going to slide. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa! That was fun. Make sure to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I have over 500 videos here on YouTube, most of them car audio related. Some home audio, some pro audio, some big dummy related. But anyway, just check them out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching.